The desert is old, and we're all old. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> exactly. Well, you could say uh, it's a must in the dust. Not far off the mother road, Dixie Evans dishes up sun-kissed sex appeal. I was known as the Marilyn Monroe of burlesque. Well, that used to be me. You see, if you couldn't ever really meet or see the real Marilyn, you could have come to the burlesque theater and see me. Ooh, I might have shown you more than Marilyn, too. In fact, I showed a lot more than Marilyn. So uh, I do a little bit, but not a lot of dancing, no. A few years ago I did, I used to get up on that stage and dance, but not lately, no. I uh, did my little Hollywood number, a girl going to Hollywood and the casting couch and the big movie camera, and I'd stroll on stage, you know, to, you are my lucky star. Oh, and then they'd play, you ought to be in pictures and hooray for Hollywood. Well, when I went to New York, Mr. Minsky, now he's a very powerful big producer, he said, you look like Marilyn. I'm gonna call you the Marilyn Monroe of burlesque. I said, oh, Mr. Minsky, they'll throw tomatoes and I can't, I can't compete with that. He, he said, no, 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 but he insisted. Well, he's thinking of box office and money. Marilyn Monroe's name real big and mine real small, you know. Well, so then, so then I just had to start talking and walking just like Marilyn, and it worked, you know. So that's, I did not originate it, but Mr. Minsky did. <laughs> Once a year, Dixie hosts a burlesque extravaganza. Admirers from around the world come to see the Desert Rose. Who needs Vegas when you've got Victorville? No. I may have thought it and would love to have done it, but to actually have the finances to rent a building and to go ahead and do it, no. Jenny Lee actually was the founder, and she did start the museum, but it was in this small bar in San Pedro and then because of illness, they had to move out here. That's why it's out here. I mean, nobody would have chosen it, uh, the desert. With, this wasn't here, nothing was here practically. We just did it. <laughs> Dixie has transformed a dusty shed into an exotic walk down memory lane. You're going to get a wonderful education about an era that is gone, which is called burlesque. And it's very important to our American people and our country why burlesque was very important. Okay, we're going to start in now, all right? And uh, we did have a huge variety of girls. They were just silly and dumb and funny. And I've got documents that people mail me, and it said, the success of the Chicago World's Fair is attributed to none other than Sally Rant. <laughs> now this happens to be my sort of display over here. And that's where it says, gentlemen, I must inform you, I'm the attorney. 
from Marilyn Monroe. And they were going to sue me, too. And they wrote me three threatening letters. But Marilyn had all the press that she could possibly have in uh, 1956. So I do believe that her lawyer may have said, Marilyn, this girl has nothing and you have everything. So they did drop the lawsuit. But I think what offended her was, I did a little act, there's my producers, I did an act of what a girl has to go through in order to get a job in the movies. And of course it was the casting couch and so forth and so on. I didn't mean to offend Marilyn. I loved Marilyn Monroe. But I just needed a work, a job at that time, you know. And uh, this was my producer's chair, and that's what's left of it there. Dixie still exudes an air of sex appeal that has as much to do with her astuteness as it does with her provocative past. Well, uh, in the movie, Marilyn, uh, when she's introduced to the Prince, she says, oh, you grand deacle, you grand dockle, you grand ducal. I did a lot of that. And then, of course, I, I, uh, one of the uh, things I did was after doing my uh, strip, I had a gold pillow with purple tassels on it. And when I take my brassiere off, I put my, t my, my boobs on, on this purple, on this uh, pillow. And then they play royal pompous dance, da 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 da, and then I curtsied, you know, uh, in front of him. And um, it was uh, people used to just get hysterical at that one part. It was I really have to say it was my very favorite act. It was big. It was good. Yeah. All right. Thank you.